name's Dan. This is the new uh, 645D from Pentax. 40 million pixel resolution sensor. Um, have a look at the back, you'll see that it's got the horizon level display. Okay, you got the access control and everything on there. Everything's laid out very similar to our previous camera, which is the K7, so the menu style is very similar. Uh, from there, basically what we've got is to optimize image quality. What Pentax has done is they focus on image quality for this camera, so not a great ISO range, 100 to 1600. It's mainly primarily going to be a field camera as well as a studio camera. Okay. Um, New auto-focusing system has been developed for this to ensure precise autofocus. They've completely removed the low-pass filter in this model to ensure the highest quality image possible. Um, 3 inch LCD with 921,000 pixels, both top and rear LCD have been reinforced with glass. Okay. Um, when we're comparing sensor size, we're thinking 43 millimeters by 33 millimeters. So if we were to compare that to a full frame camera, we're looking at uh, basically 1.7 times larger than a full frame camera. 2.3 times larger than a crop sensor frame like a 50D. Okay. Um, mirror lockup. All of these things. Basically, the design of this camera is buttons are going to suit your, your photographer for in the field use. So there's very, very little menu system chasing in this camera. Everything's all external. Shooting modes, flash communication, drive, and then your white balance section. Um, focusing, all done on the top dials. So whether you're going to uh, 11 point auto, a selective 11 point, or a single point focus. Auto focus single, auto focus continuous on the side over here. Metering, we've got spot, center, weight, and of course our 77 segment metering. Okay. As I mentioned before, the mirror lockup is on the uh, side over here. We've got dedicated ISO and exposure compensation buttons. Front and rear dials, auto exposure lock. So very similar to our, to our previous design of cameras. Um, aside from that, it's launching with the new 55 2.8 lens. Um, are you doing a video or just on video? Video, yeah. So we'll have a look at the mirror in there. Quite a large mirror box in there. Okay. Um, the design of the camera is basically pretty much right from our 645N2 series. Um, for the size of it, you'd expect a lot more weight, but it's quite comfortable in the hands. So, great. That's pretty much it. Dual SD card slots. Okay. Okay. SD1, SD2 can either be used for RAW, one JPEG, the other, or as an overflow RAW button, and of course the exposure bracketing button. So, great.